Superman Man of Tomorrow issue 17 heads to Metropolis General, where the MPD are trying to infiltrate the building, which has been covered in a strange purple energy force field. The chopper can't find a way to land as the energy lashes out, grabbing the chopper and pulling it down. Luckily, Superman arrives, saving the chopper and placing it down on the ground before meeting with Maggie Sawyer, who isn't so sure on what they are dealing with, but at least a hundred people are still trapped inside, so she's considering this a hostage situation. Superman wants to know who did this, and Maggie says it was a man named Dax who escaped Strikers Island that morning. Superman knows Dax, having put him in jail, knowing he has psychic powers. Maggie says that they have tried everything to get into the building, so Superman goes to see the Force Shield himself, reaching out to it as the shield opens, making the hero realize that it's an invitation for him to go inside. He assures Maggie that he'll deal with this, so going inside, Superman finds Dax has taken over the minds of everyone in the building, all whom tell Superman that Dax is waiting for him. Superman tells him to let the innocents go, but Dax says that bad things happen to good people all the time, but not when Superman is around. He tells Superman to come to him, sending Superman up the elevator as the hero says that putting people in the hospital in harm's way is worse than the bank robbery he committed earlier. Superman is ushered towards the oncology department, telling Dax this isn't the way to get help and the doctors there are to help him. Entering the room, Superman learns Dax isn't the one who needs help, it's his mother. Dax says that the doctors had their chance with their drugs and radiation and procedures, but none of it worked to cure her cancer, and the only thing he hasn't tried is Superman. Dax says that his mother's cancer is terminal and she has maybe a few hours left, but Superman can lift buildings and stop meteors with his bare hands, so he can help save her. Superman says he can't, but he can call for a doctor. Dax becomes angered, wondering if Superman can't help her, or maybe he just doesn't want to. Superman says that if he could, he would, but some things are beyond even his abilities. Dax explodes with power, demanding to know why Superman refuses to help his mother, throwing the furniture from the room at Superman, who understands the boy's anger, seeing as he lost his parents as well and he understands the pain and feeling helpless. Superman shrugs off the furniture thrown at him, making it to Dax and telling him he knows it hurts, but he doesn't need to deal with this by himself. Dax breaks down, saying he doesn't want his mother to go and it should have been him instead. Superman comforts the man, saying that he doesn't have all of the answers, but he can tell Dax that the man isn't alone. Dax releases the people under his control, dropping the shield around the hospital and asking Superman what they do now. Superman takes a seat, telling the man that they will wait together. Superman wants Dax to tell him about his mother, learning that she was a great mother, but Dax thinks maybe a lot of people say that about their mothers. He says that she didn't want to tell him about the cancer at first, since there was no health insurance and she couldn't afford to pay for treatments. So he found a way to pay for everything, but she got mad when she learned where the money came from. Despite that, Dax reveals every week she would come and visit him in prison and they would play rummy. Later on, Superman visits Dax in prison, bringing a pack of cards with him and asking the man if they can play Go Fish instead, since he can't seem to beat him at rummy. Superman Man of Tomorrow issue 17 was a yet another wonderful one-off storyline that tapped into to Superman's most powerful ability, his compassion, as he looks to help a young misguided man deal with the grief that comes with losing a loved one. I love that not once did Superman raise a fist against the man and instead wanted to just talk things out with him, knowing that there was something more to the supposed hostage crisis he first found himself in. I've really enjoyed that this digital series has been telling unique and interesting stories that don't all end with Superman fist fighting a villain in space or some big giant battle. Instead, it explores the character and showcases his entire skill set, not just that he can hit things really hard. I'm going to give this issue a 10 out of 10. A